Hi there, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kofi Bashaba. On today's episode of Did You Know, we'll be talking about urinary tract infection. Did you know urinary tract infection is not only contracted from sexual intercourse? Sit tight, relax as I explain everything to you from the causes to the prevention. Let's get this video started. You're welcome back. A urinary tract infection is an infection in any part of the urinary system. The urinary system includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder and urethra. Most infections involve the lower urinary tract which is the bladder and the urethra. UTIs are common infections that happen when bacteria often from the skin or rectum enter the urethra and infects the urinary tract. The infections can affect several parts of the urinary tract, but the most common type is a bladder infection, cystitis. Kidney infection, pyelonephritis, is another type of UTI. They are less common, but more serious than bladder infections. Their risk factors. Some people are at a higher risk of getting a UTI. UTIs are more common in females because their ureters are shorter and closer to the rectum. This makes it easier for bacteria to enter the urinary tract. Other factors that can increase the risk of UTIs are a previous UTI, sexual activity, changes in the bacteria that lives inside the vagina or vaginal flora. For example, menopause or the use of spermicides can cause these bacterial changes. Pregnancy, age, Older adults or young children are more likely to get UTIs. Structural problems in the urinary tract, such as enlarged prostate. Poor hygiene, for example, in children who are potty training. Now to the symptoms. Symptoms of a bladder infection can include 1. Pain or burning while urinating. Frequent urination feeling the need to urinate despite having an empty bladder, bloody urine, pressure or cramping in the groin or lower abdomen. Symptoms of a kidney infection can include 1. Fever, chills, lower back pain or pain in the side of your back, nausea or vomiting. Younger children may not be able to tell you about the UTI symptoms they are having. While fever is the most common sign of UTI in children and toddlers, most children with fever do not have a UTI. If you have concerns that your child may have a UTI, talk to a healthcare professional. Now to the treatment. Your healthcare professional will determine if you have a UTI by 1. Asking about symptoms Doing a physical exam and or doing urine test if needed. Bacteria causes UTIs and antibiotics treat them. However, anytime you take antibiotics, they can cause side effects. Side effects can include rash, dizziness, nausea, diarrhea, and yeast infections. More serious side effects can include antibiotic resistant infections, which causes diarrhea that can lead to severe colon damage and death. Call your healthcare professional if you develop any side effects while taking your antibiotics. Sometimes, other illnesses such as sexually transmitted diseases have similar symptoms to UTI. Your healthcare professional can determine if a UTI or different illness is causing your symptoms and determine the best treatment. How to feel better If your healthcare professional prescribes you antibiotics, Take antibiotics exactly as your healthcare professional tells you. Do not share your antibiotics with others. Do not save antibiotics for later. Talk to your healthcare professional about safely discarded leftover antibiotics. Drink plenty water or other fluid. Your healthcare professional might also recommend medicines to help lessen the pain or discomfort. Talk to your healthcare professional if you have any questions about your antibiotics. Now, 
to the last and the most important point of this video the prevention the following lifestyle changes can help prevent urinary tract infections one practice good hygiene practicing good hygiene is one of the best ways to prevent utis this is especially important if you have a vagina because your urethra is much shorter and it's easier for E. coli to move from your rectum back into your body. Always wipe from front to back after a bowel movement to avoid this. During your menstrual cycle, it's also a good idea to regularly change your period products, including pads and tampons. You should also avoid using any deodorant on your vagina. Two drink plenty of fluids drinking extra fluids especially water each day can help flush out bacteria from your urinary tract healthcare providers recommend drinking six to eight glasses of water daily three change your peeing habits peeing can play a big role in getting rid of bacteria from your body your pee is a waste product and each time you empty your bladder you help remove that waste from your body. Peeing frequently can reduce the risk of developing an infection, especially if you get UTIs a lot. You should also try to pee right before and right after having sex. Sex can introduce bacteria to your urethra and peeing before and after sex helps flush it out. If you can't pee, wash the area with warm water. Four change your birth control some people have an increased risk of developing a uti if they use a diaphragm for birth control talk to your healthcare provider about other birth control options five use a water-based lubricant during sex if you use lubricant during sex make sure it's water-based you should avoid spermicide if you have frequent utis 6. Change your clothing Tight-fitting clothing can create a moist environment which promotes bacterial growth. You can try loose-fitting clothing and cotton underwear to prevent moisture from accumulating around your urethra. Thank you very much for sticking with me to the end of this presentation. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't and share my content to your family and friends if you find it insightful. Don't forget to like and drop your submissions in the comment section. Thank you. Till we meet again, take a very good care of yourself. Remember, you can also make a difference. And don't forget, Kofi loves you. Peace out.